gonna happen? Pokemon Direct, these are always so exciting. I remember uh, when Gen 6 was announced, it was in the st some of the start of January. I remember that was like at 12 a.m. or 12.30 or something, in a very small 50 minute break I had at school. And what I did was, I made sure that five minutes before the end, wasn't too nice, I guess, for the teacher who wants everyone to just pay attention to the end. Five minutes before the end, I made sure to slowly pack my stuff already. So that the moment they said we could go, I ran, I sprinted to the, my bicycle, cycled home, I lived really close to the school, switched on, the, I think I had left on my computer on sleep mode, or just left the com computer completely on um, for that, because I knew I, I didn't have to be in a hurry, watched the entire thing, 10, 11 minute presentation, rushed back to school, and was just in time for the next lesson. Um, and that was when Gen 6 was announced, Kalos where we saw Xerneas and Avelto for the first time, not with names. And something else as well, I don't even remember exactly how it happened. Um, yeah, then Gen 7, I think, was announced through Pokemon Direct as well. Now, I'm going to assume it's Gen 8. It would be very strange if it's not. We've known for, I think, over a year that Gen 7 is in the make. That it's being worked on by Game Freak, and it's like, it's going to be this year that it's released, even though for a while it was never really clear to me, is it Gen 8 or do people just expect it to be? It must have been said somewhere, considering even Serbi said it, and I definitely trust Serbi on checking their sources. Um, yeah, in that sense, I should have actually checked it myself. But anyway, I expect it to be Gen 8. It's going to be a seven-minute presentation with new info. I expect it to be Generation 8. Could be like it could be like uh oh, we have a new mystery dungeon or right? we have a new rain Pokemon Ranger although I don't really expect a Ranger mystery dungeon could be um but like a, a stadium Pokemon Stadium like game for the Switch I think that'd be really cool but Gen Eight is supposed to be for the Switch so how is that gonna be and is that gonna have features for this from like Stadium Coliseum is it's gonna be weird. it's it's gonna be a main story mode are we gonna get Trials, we're gonna get gyms. Like, we're probably not gonna have that many details because I think for Gen 7, we saw some areas, saw a bit of movements, maybe a little bit of the battle system. I'm not really, I don't really remember. We saw the three starters Rowlet, Poplio, Litten, and I think with their names. And then we saw the Boxard Legendaries, which turned out to be called Lunala and Solgaleo, but not with their typing at the time because I never knew the typing until release. And that's probably also something I'm going to do with this, the wreck, just like I've done with previous generations, like, especially with Gen 7, Gen 6, and the other halfway. Um, I'm going to watch this direct, I'm going to be excited for it, I'm going to look at every little detail in it, quite potentially. But after that, any Pokemon reveal, I'm going to ignore. Well, if it's, maybe if there's another Pokemon direct in, let's say, two months, then maybe, especially if it's this game is released in, let's say, the end of the year. But... I want to dodge spoilers, like, hey, we were like, reveal this, reveal that, and especially in the week before the release, oh, day to mine, which might happen, then I'm going to ignore that. Especially the last few weeks before release uh, of, of any Pokemon game, I now just unfollow things like Cerebi and Pokemon on Twitter. Um, and the thing is, it's unfortunate on YouTube, things just pop up in your suggested feed. So I'll have to just not watch a lot of Pokemon videos, because then other Pokemon things will show up. And then it's just knowing that some people who just discuss news, on discuss new Pokemon news on their channel, which is perfectly okay, put spoilers in either the title or the thumbnail. And I'm like, I didn't want to see that Pokemon, or know its name, or know its typing, or whatever. So I hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, I'm just going to watch this, be super excited for it. Um, yeah, Gen 8, come on. I have Magikarp and... Uh, Pikachu here with me, because Pokemon, you know. Not wearing my Pokemon shirt. I have a Pokemon um, vest, I guess. But it's it's warm. Yesterday was the warmest winter day in the Netherlands in history, I think. It was posted somewhere. It was warm. So, yeah. Also, something someone noted. I thought it was just, hey, nice three Pokeballs, whatever, and yeah, that's it. We're going to have seven minutes of presentation. But those three Pokeballs could stand for the three starters that we get to see the three stars which is expected I guess in a first look at the new gen is in gen 7 I think we also get a sort of a look at picky pack even though we didn't know what picky pack really was but it turned out to be 
which I think what I expected as well is just the the standard Route One, um, normal flying bird Pokemon, like you have with with your Pidgeys and your Starlies and your Pidoves. We saw a bit of that as well. Saw a bit of a thing like, oh, was that a water gym? Something someone thought, which turned out to be one of the hotels in the game. So a lot of theories that might be true, might not be true. And the, oh, vehicles? Are we going to ride vehicles? No, the vehicles were just standing around. Um, but a lot of theorizing can happen, which is, it's fun. Theorizing is fun, discussing possibilities, what you want, um, can be really cool. I just hope it, a lot of things will, won't be taken as fact. It's just discussion. Unless you have definitive proof, it's not fact. It's rumor. It's discussion. And not every little thing that you find somewhere that is in the background of something that happens to be Pokemon related is a leak. But anyway, I, I just want Pokemon late. Something um, people have done is, let's see, here, on the Pokemon YouTube channel, the last seven days, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, like a one minute video showing a few areas in um, each region from the anime, like for example the Dustox flower fields in Sinnoh, which you, you don't really think about because it's not in the game, but it's had like one or two episodes in the anime where like, um, was that Hoenn, Dustox flower fields? It's Dustox, it might have been. Anyway, that's a pretty sure where Jessie released her Dustox. But, uh, yeah, like, just going around uh, all the regions, showing a few things, as if it's like a, a travel catalog or something like that. Like, which region of the Pokemon uh, world would you want to visit? Like, Sinnoh, yeah. Alola would be cool, Kalos would be cool. A lot of regions, every region would be cool. But I, I, I have, uh, Sinnoh's my favorite. I, I definitely see a lot of things in Sinnoh that I love. So I'd like to go there. If uh, Pokemon, uh, the, all the Pokemon regions were real, I'd choose, probably choose Sinnoh. I was building up, and I just saw the Kanto video, and the Johto video, and then I saw the Hoenn video, and then I think under the, in the comments of the Hoenn video, I, th I saw something along the lines of, wait a second, this is one video every day, if this keeps up, video 8 will be on Pokemon Day. So is there going to be a video like that, one minute video, about... Gen 8 region? Well, I don't think so, although it could be cool, I guess. Because it doesn't really show that much of, let's say, Johto. Very few things, but it shows anime stuff, and we don't know anything about Gen 8 anime. This is probably just going to be the games. Uh, but that's, that's what someone thought. Is there going to be a vid something on Pokemon Day for Gen 8? It does make a lot of sense. And then, I think two days ago, so on the day that the Kalos video came out, it was announced, we're going to get... No, it was actually yesterday. Yesterday it was announced Pokemon Direct. And I am so excited for this. We're going to start in like a minute or so. My clock's a bit ahead. So I'm early. What do I hope? Gen 8 info. And not that it's, hey, this is a game. Have fun. Because we've known for, I think, more than a year that there is... A Pokemon game for the Switch in the works. We had no info besides that. And then again, yeah, we got Pokemon Quest, which just, it was kind of cool, but it got too grindy, so after a while I stopped playing that and never fully completed it. But full core Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch that isn't Pokemon Let's Go. Because that was also considered a core Pokemon game, which I can understand. But. This has to be Gen 8, right? Three Pokeballs, three starters. Maybe we're going to do it the same thing. Like, we get to in get introduced to the new starters. What kind of Pokemon would I want? Um, for starters, well, we're probably not going to really know their evolutions. But I hope it's not a firefighting evolution. Because we've already had three of those. It would be cool if they had some interesting typing. Like, the CGI being Grass Ghost was a pretty interesting one for a starter. Yeah, especially considering it was started grass flying. Actually, the second starter ever, Rowlet, that was dual types. Like, sometimes the evolved Pokemon. <gasps> Pokemon Direct. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I would like to share some very special information with all of you. Pokemon trainers all around the globe 
have already enjoyed many adventures in the various regions of the Pokemon world. Scenes from Gen 1 through 7. Along the way, trainers have encountered many different Pokemon, battled against countless other Pokemon trainers, and experienced stories all their own. And this year, a new Pokemon journey will begin for all of you. Turn up the volume, let's go. We've prepared a special video to welcome you to the setting of your next adventure. Yes! Get it, come on! Please, take a look. Let's go! No, let, let's go Pikachu! Come on! Let's look like Switch. That's a little fleshling thing, whoa! That definitely doesn't look like what we're used to. Yeah. Okay, she looks a little bit like the Kalos girl. Oh, the little steps and the like the way the hops in the camera stops a bit looks cool. Was that a gym? Is that a new region? That's a thing that's building it cool and Pokemon, it's with a fucking switch! <laughs> Quite a few things seem to be taken from like Gen 7. A bit of the looks of the things. Whoa, that looks like a cool Pokemon arena. Is that like the Pokemon League or like a gym? That's a cool mine. Oh, that's a cool field. So people are going to look into that shape in the grass. What is this then? We're going to play sports? Pokemon sports thing? Like things like poker golf and poker baseball, like that have been shown in the Alola anime or thing. Is that a new Pokemon? It's a new thing. It's like a little like bundle bee and meowth, and it's different. It, it's a fire type. Is that the fire starter? It looks kind of weird. That one looks like Bubble from Clover, like a froglet thingy. I like it. It's bubble! It was a chameleon thingy! The water is a chameleon thingy? And then the grass one, that's like Chespin it's a Chespin monkey. The colors on the back look a bit like that. It's like Chespin but a monkey. Look at it Ah, okay. I didn't think that first one was the fire one. I didn't immediately get that idea, I just thought it was hey, it was a Sword and Shield? No interesting names! Like Pokemon Sword? Maybe? I don't know. This would be my initial, very first thought. Oh my god! Today, we are pleased to announce all new entries in the main series of Pokemon RPGs for Nintendo Switch Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Yes! Come on, give me better quality. I don't know a lot of people are watching. To the adventure that awaits you in these games, I'd like to ask this next guest to tell you more. Tsugimori? I'm Junichi Masuda from Game Freak, and I have been working as the producer for these Obviously titles. Masuda. Right now, we at Game Freak are hard at work on the development of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. For the veteran Pokemon trainers who have experienced so many adventures with us up until now, for the new trainers who held a Pokeball for the first time in the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu game, or the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee game, and for all those out there looking to become Pokemon trainers for the first time. These games will be new entries in the Pokemon series. Role-playing games that will get any player fired up and excited. Since these are new entries, naturally, you'll find that they take place in a new region, with never-before-seen Pokemon living there, and new adventures you get more. to experience. So let's turn to the director of these games, our own Mr. Omori, to hear more. I'm Shigeru Omori from Game Freak. I'm working as the director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The setting of these games is known as the Galar region. Galar is an expansive region with many environments, containing idyllic countryside and contemporary cities, vast plains, and craggy snow-covered mountains. Little house thingy there. The people and Pokemon live here, and they've worked together to develop the industries in the region. What is that? 
Here in this region, you'll visit gyms with the newly discovered Pokémon you choose to gyms. be your first partner. They said gyms. For the enviable and admirable title of champion. So gyms are back? So let's get to know the Pokémon that could be your next partner. The chimp Pokémon, Grookey. This mischievous Grookey. Pokémon is full of boundless curiosity. The rabbit Pokémon, Scorbunny, which is Score always... Scorbunny looks so adorable! And, the and then there's Bubble! Sobble. It's a bit timid. So bold. It hides itself in the water. I like them. You'll choose. Uh, I think I like Score Bunny the most. Trusty partner. It, ha it has a lot of like Bunnelby, like a dis a different color Bunnelby with like Meowth feet. But then fire type. Way, there will be many more never before seen Pokemon waiting to meet you and be discovered. As we work on the development of these games, our goal has been to create the greatest Pokemon experience yet. We're challenging ourselves to try new things, while still treasuring what makes Pokémon special. So we hope you'll all be looking forward to the adventures awaiting you in the Gala region. Yes! So, what did you it's think? It's a thing, it's jelly! Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield will be released simultaneously, worldwide, yeah, in late 2019. Okay. Release day! Come on! <laughs> and that's not all you'll have to look forward to in 2019. We've got plenty in the works for the Pokemon brand that we hope will delight you. Which is? Thank you all for tuning in today. That's all? Thank you, Legendaries. But it was to be expected in a seven minute presentation that it wouldn't be like that, but it's Gen 8, yes! Gen 8's a thing! Gen 8's a thing, Gen 8's a thing, Gen 8's a thing! Woo! Score Bunny is a Adorable! <laughs> was it Gobble? Something like that? What was the thing called? I need, I'm going to look back on it. What was it called? And the water lizard Pokemon, Sobble. It's a bit timid. Sobble. Okay. And Square Bunny. What was the grass one? Next partner. The chimp Pokemon, Grookey. Grookey. Huh. And a score bunny. I gotta look at that part again, cause it's score bunny. It's adorable. I gotta watch it again. This is this cool. I almost have to take score bunny now. Yeah, I like the bubble, but uh, Ch Chimp so far is down. Well, the other two are up in terms of excitement. Chimp's the least. I didn't. Re I thought it was just a normal type like Bunnelby until the fire showed. Little bubble thing, chameleon. Looks so good. Oh, sure, this is not in-game footage, but. Pokemon Gen 8 lives! <laughs> Pokemon Sword! And Pokemon Shield! Aegislash, let's go! <laughs> if Aegislash doesn't have like a special role in this somehow, or like the statues, then I don't know. They are a thing, baby! <laughs> Gen 8 is here! <laughs> that is cool. Let's look at some more footage. Sneaking seems to be back. Seems like they took a good amount of the base, like animations or models from Sun and Moon, which makes sense. Considering it's all 3D, saves them work. Not like Pokemon look a lot different. The mine looks cool. This area seems really interesting. People are definitely gonna have some theories about what this means. Probably related to like a legendary or something with aliens. Interterrestrial Pokemon. Wow. Okay. Gen 8. 
Pokemon Sword and Shield. We got we went with colors, red and blue, yellow, green. To the gold, silver, crystal, and then gems with your ruby, sapphire, emerald, uh, diamond, pearl. Then we went to black and white, which was an in interesting name change. Uh, but back to colors, which and black and white aren't even really colors. Um, with Gen Five. Then Gen 6 went to letters in X and Y, then it was Sun and Moon, because now it's not really the color or the gems, now it's really just the theming and they just name it after that. Which I guess still kind of worked in the others, like Ruby and Sapphire worked, because Groudon and Kyogre were red and blue. So then they found a gem that worked with it. Sun and Moon, because the old Sogaleo Lunala. So maybe like there's a Sword Pokemon and the Shield Pokemon that are legendaries, like the books are legendaries. We have yet to figure that out. Things will be revealed in due time. I want to know so much more. And if it's, let's say, late 2019, let's say it's released in November, halfway November, then I have three quarters of a year to wait with to dodge spoilers. And that's going to be really difficult and occasionally really annoying. But in Gen 6... After about halfway through, halfway from the reveal of Gen 6 to the game's release, I stopped watching reveals, trailers, and things that I didn't know about to find those out while playing the game. That was, well, that's what made it most exciting for me. And I love that so much. I remember uh, my best friend telling me that if you, once you're past the second gym city on the route there, you're going to find a Pokemon you really love. I had no idea what Pokemon that was, and I found Halucha. And I knew exactly that's what my friend meant. And I love Halucha. I think I, that was a great reaction for me. And I want to have more reactions like that. Like, I want to know a lot of things more now. And be excited now. And then I'll still be very excited playing. Even if I know quite a lot already. But I prefer so much more to find things out through gameplay. And that just makes that gaming and playing experience so much better for me. Occasionally it'll be like, yeah, I don't know how this Pokemon evolves. Or, I don't know what this is about. Then, sure, some things I don't know, but maybe that's a good thing as well. Trying to figure things out. And maybe the occasional thing of, I this Pokemon seems to evolve. I'll ask my best friend, can this thing evolve? I'll ask them for the occasional tiny bits of information. Um, but for the rest, I probably, from now on, will dodge any Pokemon trailers. And hopefully learn very little news. Like, I knew that Alolan forms were a thing in Sun and Moon, even though I didn't want to. I had seen many memes of Exeggutor, Alolan Exeggutor's long neck, and I didn't want to. It would have been amazing just to see that for the first time in the game. But yeah. Gen 8. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. This is the Galar region. Very vertical. Taining idyllic countryside and contemporary. Any videos unavailable? I just watched it. Oh, okay. Thank you very much uh, for watching my reaction video. Please let me know in the comments what you think of Gen H. What are you excited for? What are you looking forward to? What do you think that sports thing was about? That he seemed to be walking to a stadium. The stadium that, like earlier on, they're sh showing some kind of battle, like Lucario versus Tyranitar trying to stadium. That looked cool. I'm just so excited for Gen 8. Can't come early enough. Give me more Pokemon! <laughs> Goodbye.